our YouTube channel. Before we get started today, I am going to announce the winner to our last video. And the winner is Miriam. I'm not going to say your last name, but I'll have your name posted down below so you guys can see who it is. And we are having another giveaway on this video. So make sure you watch my tutorial and answer the question. That's how you enter to our giveaway. And for today's nails, we are doing some winter vibes nails. So super easy, super cute. It's still snowing everywhere else except for San Diego. So, <laughs> all right guys, check it out. All right guys, I already have the Not Polish Universal tips on and today we're gonna be using the number M14 and a white white, okay? So these are the two colors from Not Polish also. I only use Not Polish products as you guys already know, but I just like to mention it every time. So for the newer um, people that's watching, okay? So what you do is I pick up two colors at the same time, which is a white white and the purple, and I make sure the bead is extra wet and I'm just lightly glided across the nail just like that keeping it on the thinner side all right guys because we encapsulate a lot of our looks so and then i'm gonna go ombre it down with number 137 this is like um more of a browner on the brown nude side <laughs> rather than usually the lighter nudes so this is number 137 it's actually one of my favorite nudes and then now i'm gonna work it into the cuticles as you can see very lightly and i'm just gonna tap the products first make sure that i give it a little bit time to set and then i'm gonna pull it down and then you see how i'm just kind of lightly tap there and again make sure that the whole nail is um it doesn't have to be the whole nail super thin but the um where the marble is you want to keep it on the thinner side okay guys and i'm going to just go i'm just going to go in and lightly um glaze the marble area with um a glitter powder well it's m109 which is my new favorite glitter so i'm just going to lightly glaze it and then while that's still wet i pick up my stars and just put it on there and now that's good to go we're going to encapsulate it with the mirror clear all right and again i'm just gonna tap the top area just like that just like how you would do an ombre okay so tap the top area and now the product the clear we want it to keep it on the runnier side because when you encapsulate we don't want bubbles and stuff like that right so we want to keep it on the uh, more runnier side so there you go so just kind of tap tap play with it a little bit for it to set and then i'm just gonna apply more pressure right now <laughs> apply more pressure there you go um and then we're gonna pull it all the way down to the tip of the nail and as you can see make sure we keep the nail in the shape that we want okay don't go all crazy and have it all bulky and big and all thick so really thick that it's gonna you know spend a lot of time later on to shape in and file on the top of it and um, today we're just gonna do a quick video I mean not quick but it's um, a little bit shorter than my usual tutorial because um, this one it's uh, I have to the pink the pinky and the index was the same and the ring finger and the middle finger is the same so I'm just gonna keep it pretty simple for you guys all right again we're gonna go in with the M14 you see how this color does what's one thing about not polish is our color does not marbleize all right guys you see that purple usually a color that vibrant you tend to have a little bit marble mm, they, they, they marble a little bit but we don't have that issue with our products okay and again i'm using the same glitter and i'm just gonna put a thin layer there so when i apply my snowflakes on it has something to it sticks onto the nail right so you want to apply, if you don't want to do um, glitter, you can use clear acrylic, just dab a little bit right there and then just apply your stars or hearts or whatever you want so it will stick to it. And then again, I know what I'm doing for this look so I'm not going to be too crazy about blending my ombre, okay? Because we're going to do the drip on top of the ombre so I don't want to focus too much time on that and then later I'm, I'm going to end up covering it up so um we're just gonna keep it really nice and thin just like that i think that's perfect right there okay and then now i'm just gonna go in and encapsulate it with crystal clear powder there you go and my question for the day today is what is your 
New Year's resolution. Like, what, as in the nails wise, you know, what do you guys want to focus on more? What, what, what is it? Like, what do you guys want to be better at? I just want to, I really want to hear that. So, leave your comment down below, and then um, that's that's your chance to win our next another giveaway. I don't know why I'm getting tongue-tied today <laughs> all right guys so we're just gonna pull it all the way down just like that I just um I'm loving these I, I feel like these this set is still like it's not too Christmassy because Christmas is over obviously but it's still we in the winter time right now and I think this is very appropriate still so I think this is a good look for the winter times, all right? And then now we're gonna, we're gonna go in with the uh, five in one cockpit. And um, as you guys know, from a, almost a year ago, this is my favorite bit. And the only bit I use between this one and the super cut. So they're pretty much the same thing. Um, what I like about it so much is it's actually a safety bit. So when I appreciate the nails with the bit, it's you already so like see I don't my room. end up cutting my clients or anything my like that. It's, it's very nice and safe. All right, guys. So I'm, I'm just finishing all the okay? shape it and buff it, and then now I'm gonna go. I'm gonna use actually. I'm gonna keep it glossy on this one. You see that? Ooh, look at that. Super shiny. <clears throat> so apply on the gel top coat here for 30 seconds. You see how shiny that is. And for this one, I think I'm just gonna keep it matte. So this is a matted top coat from Not Polish and a glossy top coat from Not Polish also. So I'm gonna go over the mat on the top, clean, lightly wipe the edges off just so it, the shape can stay nice and sharp. And then I'm gonna go on the bottom of the nail with a glossy top coat. What it does, it makes the clear pops up a lot more, make it look more glossy. And then you cure it under the light for 30 seconds and then we're gonna go in and draw a little, the little uh, drips right here. And make sure when you guys are doing the drips, this is just a white gel polish guys. So when you guys are doing the drips, make sure the lines are not straight, okay? You see that little line, you just gotta add a little wiggle to it. Okay, so there you go. I'm just gonna thicken that area and I'm gonna wiggle it down, you see that? So when you wiggle it down, I think it gives it more dimension. It looks more like the icicle look rather than you have lines going down, it kinda looks weird, right? So don't cure the nails. While the gel is still wet, pour the glitter, the not polished raw glitter on top of it, and then you cure it under like for 30 seconds. I do a lot of sugar effect, so in a lot of my videos, you probably see that technique a lot, so I'm not gonna focus too crazy on the little details of it, right? So you see that? I'm just gonna wiggle it down, make sure it's thick, not super skinny, okay? We don't want super skinny icicles because it, it looks kinda, I think this looks better when it's thicker and make sure you got the longer lines and the shorter just give it just break it up a little bit so it doesn't look too uniform right so before this is dry I'm gonna <clears throat> sprinkle the glitters on top of it just like that and I'm gonna stick it under the light and cure for 30 seconds all right and this one we're just gonna do a little snowflakes you know snowflakes you can do any type of snowflakes you want there's so many different ways to do snowflakes and um you know this this way is fun but uh, my little what do you call it that one what is it called that I'm doing right there I don't know what it's called but sometimes it looks a little uneven but that's okay because snowflakes aren't supposed to be all perfect right maybe they are <laughs> anyway so I'm just gonna draw these snowflakes on just like this and then make sure you go in and add these little dots to it I feel like these little dots are tiny little details but it really makes these snowflakes looks better for some reason i don't know okay so i'm just gonna add more dots you see and again before we dry it i'm just gonna sprinkle the glitter on and cure it for 30 seconds make sure you cure it first okay make sure you cure it under the light before you do this or else the whole thing is gonna come off all right so i'm just gonna lightly dust it and then now i am gonna go in with the not polished diamond glue gel it's um it's a squee tube and it's a non-cleansing gel so what good what's good about it is it doesn't get messy because when it come in a jar sometimes it just get for some reason it just get a little bit messy 
because when I'm not careful so if you're careful I love the jars also so and then I'm just gonna apply my gems on and what's good is no cleansing after we're done and this is the finished product So what do you guys think of that video? If you like it, make sure you guys leave us a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to our channel and don't forget to leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys later.